Oh well folks, after three and hours and 15 minutes, I have almost reached the Kadoomba campground. I went a bit of a long way this time, that's why it's taken longer. But look at that, that's King's, ta King's Table Land. Goes all the way over up here. And that's the hill I've just came up from. I don't know if you can see, it's yeah, very high. But this actual area, is like completely grown back because I came here last time and there's like hardly any greenery but there's heaps of greenery here now a lot so behind there is the uh, behind those trees is the Kadoomba campground I would not be surprised if we'd see a couple of kangaroos bounce out of these trees I would not be surprised at all because I'm sure they're around somewhere here I'm sure I'm going to encounter some. So the weather's pretty good. There you go. That's King's Table and here's a clearer view for you. Look at that. I'll zoom in. There you go. That's as, That's as close as you can get to that. King's Table Land. Now, walking through this still Kadumba Valley Road, there is an old... Uh, slab hut around here somewhere maxwell slab hut i've been here many times so i'm not going to go there i always go there i'm trying to go a different way this time just to uh you can see my shadow that's me walking a bit spooky here okay this is where the slab hut is you have to walk through that grassland to get there just cut the grass up which is very good I'll zoom it in from here. I think you guys can see it from there. There you go. That's the Maxwell Slab Hut. Well, very well known in these parts of uh, Kadumba Valley, Wentworth Falls. They were old farmers and uh, what have you. That's that. No one around. I haven't seen anyone. Nobody to be seen. So we'll continue walking down here. Walk down towards the, uh, going to cross the Kadumba River and then there'll be the Kadumba campground. There might be some people there. But on my travels today, I've only encountered trail runners. There you go. There's the first kangaroo. Bouncing through the bush. I knew that was going to happen. Don't jump over here, mate. You might jump on me. Just got to be wary of the kangaroos. Oh, there's one. Hey, mate. Hey, buddy. He's itchy. Hey, cuz. How you going? Look at this guy. Very nice. Big guy. I'll leave him alone. I won't hassle him. Just leave him alone. Continue on my travels. Be alright, mate. Don't want to disturb the wildlife. But it's very, very rare to see kangaroos like that in their natural habitat. He was not happy. I think he was uh, <laughs> he was starting to get a bit annoyed with me, actually. Well, we've got a bit of water here. This would be interesting. Let's go the uh, Kadumba River. Bloody beautiful weather today. Amazing. Yes, guess what? There's no campers there. Campground is pristine clean and there's no one here. Maybe it's too far from the walk, but there's a lot of kangaroos. There's, oh, there is somebody there. Correction, there is somebody there. Let's walk through the water. Kadooma River. Go with the tent there. Oh, we're going to get wet a bit. A little bit of water, but not that much. The river's usually flowing a lot more than this. It's like usually, usually more. It's like less. Oh, well, how's it go? Nine meters. So what is it? It's probably only at one meter. Well, I'll continue straight. Don't bother those guys. Let them do their camping thing. <laughs> go straight.
That's right, too. It's in the valley. Best place for a walk. Look at this. Greenery, mate. It's all grown back. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's some people there, I'll just leave them alone. There's a closer version of King's Tableland. Amazing rock formation here. I'll go. These kangaroos chilling, lying in the grass. The thing with this walk, if you're a bit bored with uh, fire trails, the fire trail goes for a while until you actually start to see some scenery stuff. You have to get three hours before you start seeing this sort of stuff. So, plus it's a good blue sky. <laughs> we keep walking up this road, I wanna see where it ends. Cause I've been up this far before it's gonna go all the way, all the way straight to Cedar Line Ridge Road. Now this video is getting long, but you know, I'm just gonna let it keep going. So I can just show you the whole scene of, scenery I should say, of Kadumba Valley and why I keep coming back here. Can't get enough of it. It's bloody overgrown actually, some of the grass. I need to cut it. Cedar Line Ridge Trail is the one that leads you to the well-known Mount Solitary. One of the hardest mountains to climb here in Australia. So that road, I will show you, is also filled with many, many, many kangaroos, I would say, on the grassland. So here, what do we got here? Yeah, well, apparently this says, zoom it in. Eight kilometers to Wentworth Pass Gate, eight kilometers. Feels longer than that. So we're here, Kadimba Valley, and that's Cedar Line Ridge Fire Trail down the other side. I'm gonna go over here, because this is something you should see. It's one of the historic sites here. It's a grave of, uh, who is that? Max the Maxwell's grave. That's the one who had the the slab hut. This is their their Maxwell's grave. See, I H William Maxwell died July 28, 1914, aged 84 years. Absolute legend that man. Done so many things for this place. And Sydney Allen as well. God bless him. It's such a beautiful place here. Gave us a great place, Kadumba Valley. They paved the way for us to be able to come here and see this beautiful place. Up there, it's a huge mountain. That's Mount Solitary. Huge sucker. I'm going to continue down this way because I've been down. Looks like there's some people down there on the Cedar Line Ridge, so I'm going to go this way. Continue down Kadumba Valley, see where we can end up somewhere. Somewhere interesting. But for me, that's my vlog or my uh, spiel on Kadumba Valley. My favorite place. I love this place. I don't know how many times I've been here now. I've actually lost count how many times I've been here. I could start coming here all the time. I love it so much here. Who, who, who wants who doesn't want to walk in this look at this mate really beautiful scenic peaceful quiet tranquility name them all mate you're gonna enjoy yourself when you come here and you're gonna be at peace and relax on that note from me rob the explorer good saturday arvo to all you out there have a great one. See you later.